Welcome to this video in which I will show you how you can make a landing site for your SOS ship with as little effort as possible. I made this to remove some of the tedious work it takes should you want to place a render of your ship on the RimWorld Porn subreddit. RimWorld Porn was founded with the idea in mind that it should be a mix of the Earth Porn and Map Porn subreddits, where from Earth Porn we took the idea of having beautiful pictures of our planet and from map porn, well, RimWorld is filled with maps. So, an SOS render made in the vacuum of space is neither of those. So, from a rules perspective, simply the fact that there is no visible terrain, this allows ships in a vacuum from being posted. When we saw the first ships being posted, we realized that they are awesome. So, we made a special rule for ships basically stating that they may be posted providing that they are landed, which instantly makes them comply to the terrain visibility rule again. For the purpose of making this video, I have borrowed a save with a ship from a friend. Thank you, JD. I had never played SOS before, although I'd been meaning to since I saw the first ships appear. I think it's an awesome mod and hope that with this video I can make it easier for you all to post on RimWorld Porn as I now know for a fact that it is a lot of work and understand it can be disappointing to find out you are not allowed to post when you've made a render. Of course, as always, if you need any help, we're available on both the subreddit and the Discord. And in case you've never posted before, make sure to read all the rules and I advise you to also read the guide where you will find detailed instructions on how to make a beautiful render. The first thing I'm going to do is measure the ship so that I know how big my landing site will have to be. For that, I use the plan tool, take a look at the ship, see which part is widest, uh, which would seem to be this part. And I start measuring at the first tile, drag the area all the way to the right, and as you can tell, that's 108 tiles. Then same thing from top to bottom for, what should I say, the length of the ship. Um, I would say that this is the longest part. So start zooming a bit. I'm going to disable the GUI by pressing F11. And then scroll down using the S key. Now, as you can tell, the counter is going to go off screen. So I'm going to zoom out, but it's still going to go off screen. Uh, so what I do is I look for a reference point. Um, in this case, I'm going to use this door over here. If you, if you zoom in, you see there's a door. And I'm going to stop measuring there. Uh, which gives me 148 tiles and I'm going to start directly below the door to the bottom of the ship gives me 82 tiles and add those two numbers up gives me 230 now I'm going to write these numbers down A pencil All right, that was the first step. Now let's select the mods we need. For making a ship landing site, we need two mods. First off, the Terraform mod. And the second mod is the Gazer Deconstruct patch. And of course we need the Progress Renderer mod. Um, let me check if that is enabled. All three of these mods should, without any trouble, load at the bottom of your mod list. I understand you won't really feel like adding mods to your existing game. Um, as always, just to be sure, make a save. But I can't imagine these mods doing any harm to your game. I do not recommend using this method of making a landing site for general gameplay. It is beyond fair, it's, it's, it's basically cheating and it's, it's way overpowered. Um, I've asked Randy, he's authorized me to grant you a permit for using dev and god mode, but only for making a render for RimWorld Porn, of which he is a big fan. He insisted on me emphasizing that under the threat of having my village burnt down, 
Uh, so, yeah, he, he is a big fan, and I am a big fan of his. Now, if you don't like using dev mode in general, which I can imagine, um, still I would recommend that just for this, just for the sole purpose of making a, a render, uh, just turn it on for once. When you're done, turn it off again. Both the RimWorld and the RimWorld porn community are very forgiving ones, so I don't think anybody will mind. Right, let's do this. I'm going to go to the sensors and say observe area and then pick a landing spot. Uh, now depending on what your ship looks like, maybe the role playing you want to do, um, pick a tile where you think it would look nicest. Uh, you may want to do some scouting before you actually do all this. It's up to you. Just remember that landing on sea ice is not allowed. Um, I have already picked my spot. Let me see if I can find it. I believe it's over here. Yeah, this is it. Um, yeah, I, so I, I'm going to land it next to a river. Um, depending on the size of your ship, you probably won't want to land near a river. If it's not all that big, you could try landing it next to some hills or a mountain. Might might look very nice. Now, normally for landing a ship, you'd actually have to build a little colony, have colonists there, and they would have to clear the area for you. Um, because where you land, it has to be absolutely clear. You can't have anything in the way of landing the ship. Uh, however, of course, what I'm now going to show you is how to do all that without making that colony. Uh, of course, actually having a little colony will make it look nicer. But that's all up to you. Definitely not a requirement for posting on RimWorld Porn. The first step is drawing out the area where I want the landing site to be. I have, I'm having a quick look around. Um, so you've got some mountains up here. I'm going to try leaving as much of them as possible. So I'm going to start at the top. Of course, I've got this river. I'd like to keep that intact as well, so I'm going to make sure that I stay all the way to the left of that. So that it looks like that will be from about roughly here. I'm going to allow myself two additional tiles just in case I make a mistake or I made an error while measuring. So that's going to be 110 tiles wide. Starting from, let's say, here, 110. So I measure all the way up to 110. And then just draw back again. Keep drawing until I have the full line. And then from the sides, I go up for the height or the length of the ship. Going to allow myself an additional two tiles there as well, so that makes 232. Okay, um, we're in the same situation again where the number will be going off screen, so I'm going to stop at 100. Yeah, that's it fully drawn, so that's a hundred. Start above that again and then go up to a hundred and thirty-two. Disable the GUI again using F11. I see I screwed up a bit here. By drawing, by going a bit to the too far to the right. See, this is, this is why I want to allow myself some additional tiles. And again, 110 tiles to the right. Oh, whoops! 
and then down again. Okay, that should give me plenty of room for making my landing sites. Okay, I'm going to make a save now. Uh, of course, it's up to you if you want to make saves for every step, but I know from experience uh, that making a single mistake can ruin everything, and having a save game is always convenient. Um, now, the next part is getting rid of everything in this area. For that I'm going to use the dev mode command clear where is it clear area 21 by 21. Unfortunately it does not show you uh, the area which is actually going to clear so I'm just going to start in the center and as you can tell everything is gone except for uh, the geysers. So the geysers we're going to have to destroy. Uh, there's one one more thing I want to mention about that. Wait a minute, did it just destroy the guys are there? Oh, it actually does. Okay, well in that case, oh, that may well be because we have the guys are more than able. Yeah, let's let's just assume that. Usually, if you don't have that mod enabled, you would not be able to destroy the guys are mods. Um, and I was going to say, in previous versions of RimWorld, so before 1.3, um, removing geysers used to work in a slightly different way. Uh, so you might need to use another mod for that. Uh, I'm not sure. This one may work fine. It says it works with all versions, I believe, back even to Alpha 19. I want to be careful, I don't want to ruin or destroy too much of the surrounding forest. I do however want to destroy everything within the site, because even one piece of rock, one animal, one anything will block our ship from landing. And it's, it's easy to miss one tiny tree when doing it from this height, so that's where, once again, having a slightly bigger area than needed it can save you a lot of time. The next part is terraforming. For that we need God Mode enabled. First we convert all terrain into mud. As you can tell, all water, all marsh is turned into mud. Um, I just do it all, I, I guess you could, if you've only got a small patch of mud and you're absolutely certain uh, that you don't have to do it all. This of course also depends on what kind of map you've generated. Then we convert everything to soil.
see how easy it is to miss a slight strip if you're not and if you're not paying attention which is something I am very good at um, you won't be able to land the ship and then finding the place you missed is yeah, it can be really hard okay let's land that's the world find our ship zoom in go to the bridge land ship on observed area we wait now depending on your computer's speed this can take quite a while I've heard if you have an asymmetrical ship um, and because it won't fit entirely on your screen it might be an idea um, to make some markers using a different kind of flooring so that you know roughly where you are so I've now placed the ship I deselect to confirm location so I just click on something else and unpause and now we wait there we go there's our landed ship now as I don't know whether I've mentioned it or not but I obviously recommend making a save before starting any of this so that you can just revert back to where you were after you've made this render unless of course you want to carry on now that you've landed um, for making uh, this tile look nice um, I would recommend leaving it running for a while so that trees start growing again get some grass or of course if you have already made a floor before landing with concrete or whatever uh, that won't be necessary I have now let the game run for three days for three nights I should say it's now been three nights have now passed um, as you can tell some grass is starting to grow quite quite a few trees have started growing um, of course if you don't want to wait for that I, before landing you could just place concrete or steel tiles or make some kind of fancy landing pad uh, whatever it's uh, it's all good um, I'm going to make a render now by pressing 9 and I'll add that to the end of this video to give you an impression of what it will look like <laughs> I just realized um, because I did not actually designed this ship um, I just made a, a rectangular landing spot but if you want to put some more effort into it then of course you could um, like for instance down here what I could have done is make make it a bit less wide on both sides and I could also have tried landing it so that it would just have fitted around this mountain here so yeah as I said it is good as is um, three days in um, I I think the preference would be to just make a nice layout uh, with some steel tiles or whatever uh, otherwise you'd you'd have to I think you'd have to wait until I'd say six days have passed to make it look like a real forest area again um, it's up to you how how nice you want to make it look um, of course the nicer it looks the more people will appreciate it um, but yeah it's uh, like I said this is fine and uh, I'm gonna make a render now pressing 9 and I'll add that to the end of the video to give you an impression and uh, we're looking forward to seeing renders of your ship we're also looking forward to seeing how in in what possible ways you can land a ship on map tiles. So good luck and hope to see you soon on Rimworld Pond.